channel thank you so much for joining today i'm going to be sharing with you the process it took to transform our tv unit this time it includes a paintbrush as well so let's go straight into the process hope you enjoy it So guess what guys, I'm up to the TV unit. Gotta give this bad boy a really deep clean. These are all the marks from just having the TV um, stand on the unit. So you can see it's a bit of damage there. So this is going to have such a great makeover as well and i will show you little bits and pieces of the process as i go along first up i have some rags some water i'm going to give this unit a really deep clean Okay, so if you've been following all my videos for the bin furniture, you would see that I always make sure that I have a mask and glasses as safety gear. Today, I'm going to go straight in with 120 grit, and that's the sander. Um, reason being is I've been part of a DIY group on Facebook, which I will show on the screen. And... Most of the women I follow, they also have YouTube channels and I've also noticed that they tend to start with 120 grit as well. I'm going to try to give this a go. I normally start with either a 40 or, or normally 80 grit, but I'll see if I can get great results with a less coarse grit at 120. Let's get sanding. One hour of sanding a long way to go <laughs> but loving the results so far so two and a half hours and I've managed to do just just over half. So that's gonna be the end of day one. And I'll continue tomorrow. So welcome back to day two now. And I've just finished off the other half of the top of the TV unit. Actually took 
almost two hours to finish sanding that part of the unit and now I'm going to continue and then I'll show you what I've done. So as you can see all the front part has been sanded as well. This hasn't. On top. And I've started here but I'm gonna give it a rest for the day. So that is the end of day two. I am incredibly dusty and that's the end of day two. <laughs> day three now and I'm gonna attempt to do this if I can. It's pretty cold outside so I'll see how much I can get done with the garage door open. Let's get sanding. So it took me just half an hour to finish that up. Couldn't go too close where the bricks are, but I will do that when Rick is around and he can help me out. On to more sanding now. Another 30 minutes of sanding and I've done the other side of the TV unit. Next, I'm gonna start sanding this shelf that goes um, like in this section of the TV unit. But first it needs to be cleaned and then I'll show you how much I get done. So that is um, pretty much done. This is gonna be the end of day three. Here we are at day four. I'm gonna give this a clean up. So I've given them a bit of a wipe and I've just got to get this sticky stickiness off and now I'm taking the hardware off. So as always, I keep all the hardware together in one bag and I'm going to spray these black later on. So... Okay, update is this is totally finished now, both sides, and I'm going to move on to sanding the drawers. So here is one drawer sanded, and now I'm going to get on to the second drawer. Hi, EJ! So while I'm sanding, EJ is going for a walk with Katia. Show me how you ride your scooter! Whee! Ready, set, go! When the other car behind me was like, stop! stop. <laughs> Show me again, ready, set, go! So I thought I'd just show my face quickly and all the dust that's in my hair that's um, camouflaging all the grey that's in my hair because <laughs> being in lockdown, there's no hairdressers open. But yeah, let me get onto the sanding part now. Okay, so this has been completed as well. And now I need to decide what I'm gonna do inside this section here, which is so dusty, but I think it's just gonna be very difficult to sand. So I'm thinking I'm going to look at painting in here. Now just go over the whole surface once it's all dust free that is with 240 grit. And that way then I can give the whole unit a really good clean. I can look at purchasing paint and painting this section here. Um, or stain and then paint so keep watching and we'll see what i decide so excuse how terrible i look um it is saturday morning it's grand final weekend here in melbourne australia and i've decided on what i'm going to do i had a beautiful furniture flipper mummy <laughs> called amanda from oak and pine design um, i'll have her instagram on the screen for you to see 
she's fantastic she's so talented so she has actually helped and given me some advice on what to do so definitely we'll be painting that section that i discussed so i will be painting all the inside area obviously giving it really good clean with some sugar soap wiping it down making sure that it's really clean and prepared for painting when i'm at that stage and i'll do inside here as well and i'm also thinking i may paint these ones black instead of sanding as well because they're really difficult to get um into that section uh, i think i'm gonna like just the little bit of black um coming through this unit um particularly the, the handles the hardware the handles are going to be black as well so i think it should come out really good so i'm going to sand everything with the 240 grit and then clean everything up stain it prepare it for painting so just once again thank you so much amanda for helping me out with this decision you have got so much talent i'm so happy that you came across my instagram and i'm so glad that i reached out to you yeah your advice is just invaluable and for those who are watching do yourself a favor and go follow amanda on instagram because she's so talented creative she has got such great style and flair she's just amazing so yeah i'm just so thankful that um, you took the time to help me out okay i've sanded everything now with the 240 grit i'm gonna mix up some sugar soap some water and give all the insides a really good clean Can you see how dirty the water is? The unit is looking beautiful and clean. Can you hear EJ in the background? He's just come back from the park and he's upset he's home. <laughs> so if you hear any crying, that's what it is. So that's all cleaned up. Inside here too. Onto the staining using acorn from Cabot's. Make sure you give it a really good mix. Dampened rag. Okay, so first stain has been applied. Sorry, I couldn't feel much of it. It's just hard to, <laughs> I don't have a tripod with me in the garage at the moment, but that's first coat. A second coat has been put off the um, acorn, acorn um, cavets stain, so that's been done 
and I also my son went into Bunnings because he's got a white card so able to get some supplies that beautiful Amanda had recommended oak and pine design so the paint color that I've chosen for the inside is called trendy you can see it there uh, it's a primer obviously the paint color and then also the microfiber um, rollers that she also recommended so there we go okay so I'm just gonna give everything a really good scuff sand so that's what I'm doing next here's the primer and I'll use one of these rollers so I will show you once it's on the unit tell ya it took a while to stir this it was so thick guys um so the top coat's been put on not sure if i've really done a good job with it to be honest and i can officially say i dislike painting <laughs> so the primer has been painted and 100 percent i can say i do not enjoy painting Hey guys, I'm just enjoying my coffee. It's the next day and primer has um, dried, obviously. And I'm going to do the first coat of the trendy coloured paint. So wish me luck because yesterday's painting wasn't all that fun. Okay, all the painting's been done inside here and now Yes, yeah, EJ's come to visit. So, <laughs> and now I'm going to paint the drawers. I've got little EJ here. So hello, EJ. Hi. Over here. Hi. Hey, my big boy. <laughs> You're a big boy, I know. So we've I've painted inside and now I'm on to the drawers. The drawers weren't as bad to paint. And I love the look of the black with the light timber I think it just I just think it looks beautiful so I'll do another coat and then I can put the clear and this unit's almost finished just giving it the hardware a clean equal parts water vinegar let it come to a boil for about 20 minutes and then dry it off. Just rough off the surface a little bit with some sandpaper and um, remove any dust and then um, spray the hardware. Okay, so I'm about to spray and I'm going to leave the video here. So the next video you'll be seeing will be the reveal. messages from you after all these months have I even crossed your mind I always thought with time 
These broken feelings would just go away Don't know what else to do I guess I just wanted to say Hey stranger, have you been? It's been a while since we last met Remember how much you used to mean to me Stranger, what's going on? So much has changed since you've been gone. I kind of miss how we both used to be. We used to talk about the little things, the ups and downs. So are you happy now? Cause I just can't. So guys, as you can imagine, I'm ecstatic with the results of this beautiful TV unit. I'm thrilled. So these beautiful artificial flowers that you see here, it's a local business here in Melbourne. It's called Flowers by Field. It's a new business as well, so I'm so glad that I'm supporting this business. It is a beautiful arrangement. I will include their Instagram on the screen and also their information in description as well well so it's those little things that make all the difference so i am absolutely thrilled absolutely thrilled with the outcome of this tv unit i love that i incorporated some black and if you can see the little decor piece that is up here um that was actually originally a kmart piece that I picked up years ago it was chrome so all I did was spray paint it black just as I did with <laughs> just as I did with the lantern which is in my hallway so I'm absolutely ecstatic I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation as well I'll also link the playlist that includes all the flips that we've done recently. Our next big project will be our kitchen table. That's going to be a big one. So it's going to be a bit of a wait for that one, but we will get to it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and we will see you next time. Thank you.